in the West, because you say they live like in households of one, right? And in Asian countries, they live together. So like even people who aren't married or don't have families, they usually have housemates. So the thought process that I had when you mentioned this, isn't that just because we're poorer? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think that in some countries, for sure, people are living in shared homes because it is more financially accessible, right? It takes the pressure off all of us. But I think that there's far more to it than that. In very individualistic societies that you see in much of Western Europe, much of America now, the data will show you that in America, more and more people not only live alone, but eat alone, for example. I think here in Asia, that need to be connected is far more generational. We live in communities here. It's very rare to go out here and see people sitting in a restaurant all on their own. We just live in groups over here. We live and exist in a far more social environment. So no, I don't think people are sharing homes because it's cheaper, although it is. I think people are sharing homes because they crave belonging. They crave connection. Nobody wants to be alone. We're pro-social species.